Today we are joined by competitive eating royalty. Our next two guests are the best of the best when it comes to eating a lot of food in a short period of time. Okay, so here we go. Joey Chestnut ranked first in the world by Major League Eating, currently holds 55 world records, including the most hot dogs eaten in a Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, the most wins of the competition. Uh, and when, when it comes to the women's competition, Mickey Sudo holds four world records for kimchi, hot dish, uh. ice cream, and hot dogs. Wow. Let that sink in for a second. She has won more Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contests than any other woman, and she has beaten Joey in a competition or two. Oh. And joining us this morning are the two aforementioned stars, the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest defending champions, Mickey Sudo, Joey Chestnut. Welcome, Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. She's got us. her belt. Happy to be here. Joey's is on tour. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have a super fan in the plaza. Do we have the shot? We got to go down there. Take a look at this. Okay. They wanted this to wish you guys luck. Showed up just for you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. Just you're going to be Do here today. Do we have this fella's name? What's this guy's name, guys? We don't Stephanie, know his name. Stephanie, this is our but he's senior here producer, for you, Stephanie's Joey. friend. She heard you guys were coming on the show. He right. heard you guys coming on the show. That's like, awesome. I mean, I guess awesome. he didn't I'm have to go meet him today. later. That, he, I'm sure he. <laughs> thank, he thank you for the support. Yeah. Sign yeah. his cardboard <laughs> box. <laughs> By the way, what is hot dish? It's Cody, by the way. It's a Minnesota delicacy of. It's a. Wild rice with cream and mushrooms and butter and and uh, cheese and a whole bunch oh, of deliciousness. Wow. So okay. it's like a casserole, basically. Okay. Okay. Everyone's grandma has like their famous recipe yes. in Minnesota. Okay. Sounds like a Midwest there thing. You go. Uh, Mickey, you've won the contest eight times. Yeah, I'm going Joe, for the ninth belt. Going for the ninth. Joey's won 15. Um, so you guys are the ones to beat. Let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take it back to the very beginning, though, because we have many questions. Oh. And I know this is probably something you say over and over again, but for people who don't know. How does one, A, find out about the world of competitive eating, get into it? What are the steps? I'm sure you don't just show up and do it. I'm sure there are lots of steps involved to get into that. It's weird. Uh, it's something you don't grow up necessarily wanting to do. <laughs> I, was a, I, was the really? I was the biggest eater in the family, and everybody in the family, my family knew that I was the biggest eater, and it was something I was kind of ashamed of. I was like, all right, oh. eat, eat slow in front of people when I, when I go out. But eventually, my little brother, he signed me up to a contest, and I, I decided to go to it. And as soon as I, I got out there the first time, I was like, oh my God, I don't have to hold back. You're like, it's yeah. not just me, there's other people like this. <laughs> and, 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 like, they're people. encouraging me to eat. So, so I was like, I fell in love with the contest when I was 21. Yeah. And, and I was like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna beat Kobayashi. I'm gonna get, and right, I Kobayashi. beat him. And I, I, it's been on, this, been on this crazy ride since then. And uh, right. I love it. Oh my gosh. Um, so we all love food, and uh, that's part of my story. But also, I have always had this willingness to try new things. I mean, I've gone skydiving, hiked Machu Picchu. I decided to do a food challenge. Mm -hmm. it turns out I was good at it. Um, secondly, I was incredibly competitive from a young mm -hmm. age, and I think that spirit is, I mean, I was the kid that wanted to make dodgeball a blood sport. Mm -hmm. oh. um, so, I mean, everything's a competition for me, so competitive eating was kind of like a natural path. I love it. So here's the thing, though, right? Because you you kind of do this all, you, you do all these different competitive eating contests. What do you do to prep for this one specifically? Well, this one's the biggest of the year. Yeah. Okay. So uh, about February, March, I'm trying to lose weight, get my healthiest, uh, get to my healthiest body style. And then uh, May, I start doing practice contests. Once a week, I'm doing a full-on practice. And then there's recovery, four days of eating pretty much high fiber, greens, no yeah. carbs, almost. everything out. And then, uh, then I go back into cleansing mode, mm -hmm. do another practice. So about once a week I can do a practice and I'm slowly building my tolerance, mm. getting all the muscles in my throat. The yeah. muscles in your throat, yeah. I didn't Those, think about that. All these that. little muscles, they're moving lots of food, so they yeah. get tired, so oh, it, they, they have to get stronger. And uh, so come 4th of July, I'm a hot dog eating machine. Is there a, reg I'm, I'm, a gym regimen for the, for the muscles in the throat? Oh, yeah. Like, there, yeah like there's a documentary I did, for, and uh, you can see like the, the weird things I do. And, um, <laughs> so I, I push hard. Yeah. What about you? Um, a lot of similarities there. Um, and for better or for worse, uh, my fiance is also a competitor. Right. So I have a sparring partner in my household. So, um, you know. Man, what does your dinner table look like? <laughs> Pretty normal, but a Sunday fun day might be <laughs> a five minute hot dog practice. I can't. Yeah, what's the cholesterol intake here? Um, here's the thing though, right? When you, at the, at, I was curious about the, we always talked about the prep and everything else that goes into it. The day after, or even just like the hours after, Baby. how do you feel? It's a, uh, you know, you go into these, like a boxer or a football player, they go into uh, their fight or a game knowing that they're gonna feel like garbage for a while afterwards. Oh my God. I, I, I go in knowing that it's gonna take me three or four days to really feel great again. Oh, it, so then why do you come back, right? You've already well, done the, it. The, the, it's like, like anything. Like I said, like- Why you, does any act come yeah, back so from the beat there, so Without true. the suffering, uh, you, it's like, it, it really makes happiness. Yeah. Uh, getting the win, getting the new record, right. making other people happy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Even during the contest, when I realize that things are difficult, it almost motivates me knowing that it's difficult for everybody else right. on stage too. Mm -hmm. So it kind of pushes me forward. Well, mm -hmm. that was my next question. What is going through your minds mm -hmm. while you're in the thick of it, when mm -hmm. you're mm -hmm. traveling mm -hmm. down those hot dogs? <laughs> I mean, for me, it's just keep going. I think Joey has it down to hot dogs per second. Yeah, you get, you know, when things are going perfect, it, it's, you're just in, in the zone. You're, yeah. you're not really thinking that much. You're trying to remember to breathe. Right. Oh my and gosh. Then, then there's times like, uh, where I'm actually happy, like, oh, I'm, I'm really in it. Yeah. And then, then there's times where it, something goes wrong. Yeah, I'm a little bit flustered. I, I miss it. I, I have a hard time picking up a hot dog or bun. And uh, so, so, but you just got, you got you to not get panicked. Right. Stay calm. Be in your happy place and find it and uh, just keep, keep so pushing. Does the, does the weather play a factor, right? Like the, the humidity levels and everything else kind of go into it, and it the discomfort level? Because like right now it's super it's humid. Question. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's going to be, it could be an issue. Uh, if, if, if there's thunderstorms or if, if it's raining, uh, it might cool down the dogs. Mm. Uh, we'll, we'll see. It, but it's, like she said, it's going to be the same for it's going to be the same for everybody. Nobody wants to eat cold food. Yeah. But mm. uh, so so it, it, it's going to be the same for everybody. And right. you just got to just got to work, find yeah, a yeah. way to make it work. Right. Yeah. All right, and you mentioned your fiance is also in the competitive eating game. So you finish your competition, you go watch him, cheer him on, and you guys met through competitive eating, correct? Actually, at the Nathan's famous hot dog no, eating contest. Really? In That's 20 where you find love, everybody. Oh, there you go. But it, it, in all fairness, it was at the gym the morning of the event. We were both working out, doing our cardio at 4 a.m. Um, so, yeah, we just crazy little idiosyncrasies that kind of clicked. Yeah. Did he come up to you and was like, hey, I'm a Actually, big fan. I went over to you. You went up to I'm good for you. I just it. introduced my, I was so confident that year. I was like, I was like the single person welcome committee of Nathan's. <laughs> I, I brought all four of my belts or pictures of me parading around with my fifth. Um, but yeah, I just went up to say hi. I said, say hi. I know. We had a lot in common. And okay. Then, and we have yeah. a beautiful two-year-old son to get oh, in. He's going to be at the contest, too. Oh, oh, hey, do you think you'll get him into the world of competitive eating? That just wouldn't be fair. Yeah. Um, but in all, no, but in all seriousness, uh, bodybuilding and competitive eating are uh, off the table. Hopefully he falls in uh, in line with one of our other passions, like mm. travel or working out. There you go. And there we go. You know, I'm thinking very carefully what you said. I, I, I guess I've just thought about it all wrong. You were talking about, like, shedding and everything. And I was thinking, like, you'd want to be eating Bulk more up. all year to no, kind of well, prep for it. The healthier you are, the harder you can push your body. Ah, so yeah. if, if I'm running, uh, I can be able to control my breathing. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be able to push myself in these contests. So if, if, I, if, I'm, yeah. if I'm being lazy and I'm fat, and then, then, I, then I get... I didn't actually I, mean fat. Well, I didn't, but, 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 if you're carrying those extra I, 10 pounds, it's no, hard to sprint right. around the block. And we're totally, exerting yeah. 100% yeah, of our if energy. If I end up getting winded during a contest, mm -hmm. I'm breathing through my mouth and I'm not eating. So, oh, I, so I, have, I have to be It's an endurance sport, y'all. It really is. Yeah. A technique, speed, capacity, endurance. Hot dogs test it all. And I, mm. I do love to eat, so it's, it's always a battle. Same. So I, I was a Div Division One athlete in college, not of the competitive eating variety, but I'm thinking about it now. Like, so coming into this is the biggest competition of the year, in your words. So is there like a tapering process mm. that you do? I know you mentioned you do yeah. like one practice. So my last practice isn't a full practice. I, I okay. make sure because because it's so easy to pull a muscle, and yeah. and, the, the, and so I, I make sure that my last week and a half going in, uh, I'm uh, I, I take a little bit easier, but I, but I, I'm, my diet's really controlled, a little mm. bit more controlled than usual, even. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm gonna be super empty for the contest. Mm. I fine tune my technique, but like Joey said, you don't want to scratch your throat mm. on that last practice. So I'll just do small speed practices yeah. if anything. Huh? You guys eat hot dogs all year or no? Absolutely. We're okay, just so talking like about how barbecue. we like to normally dress them up. We're yeah, not dunking uh, buns. Oh right. <laughs> We're not dunking buns. Uh, without any further ado, speaking of dunking buns, you guys want to give us a little tutorial here? We have oh. all these hot dogs that Dan has promised to eat. <laughs> okay, though, those are. Okay, so those walk are you through good. it. Yes, please. All right. But we so, don't have water. Yes, there, we do. Is there water? Do we not have water? Do we need, no, we need water. water? We need water, oh, guys. Lord. How are you? We're setting you guys up to choke to I death. Know. <laughs> I know. Well, we have we're being sabotaged, Anna. <laughs> All right, so walk us through the steps before we get the water. All right, so usually I'm eating two pieces of meat with one hand, and if you're, if you're eating one piece of meat, so you snap it in two, and you eat the piece of meat, and then you dunk the water, dunk the bun in water with the other hand. Wait, okay. so you have the meat, one, one to two dogs in one hand. Yeah. Out of the out of the bun, and then yeah. you're dunking the bun. And when does the bun go in? The bun, uh, when, as soon as you get the meat in your mouth, and it's gonna, you use use the bun to help help you swallow. Okay, wait. You no. Use the bun as a, it, it's Here, no longer a bun. Remove. It, it's a sip of water that looks oh. like a bun. Okay. Oh, you separate. So okay. start eating. Yeah, start eating the meat. You just want to kind of bite, no chewing. And if, you, and if bite, you need something bite. to help swallow it, no, that, that that's a lot. You're gonna wow. you, you, you use a wet bun to help swallow. Oh, my mouth is full. Mm. You are such a good sport for jumping right in there. Oh, you went <laughs> She exactly, did it. Exactly. She's a beat. She is wanna, an athlete. <laughs> I almost like biting with my front teeth um, so that it's notched and then pushing it back. Exactly. Chewing with your yeah, molars is almost a, a waste of time and it signals Are to you your brain. Are you swallowing the trunk? 
Yeah. I am. You have to get comfortable swallowing bigger chunks of food. Oh. And, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. wow, you. The point is not to emulsify. She, she is doing it. She, you are she's doing she's, it. I'm I so almost proud prefer of the, you. I almost she's prefer the bun you. in the water by itself. Uh huh. That's nice. Right. All right. That's uh -huh. psycho. But it, no, I mean. <laughs> 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 this is Joey Chestnut. <laughs> No, yeah, uh, I, I, it took me a long time to learn how to eat a wet bun, but uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you're you just okay? a natural. Wow, you, you okay? Oh, I'm you? dying at these innuendos. <laughs> <laughs> if Joey Chestnut is calling you a psycho, you exactly. need to go reevaluate yourself. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. It's fascinating. I can't believe I just did that. That was amazing. You did great. You, you did so wonderful. You. Great. My parents are like, wow. We should be entering the competition. I was also year. told as a child to slow down all the time. My dad still is like, can you chill, relax. Right. Food's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I well, think it, you I never think know. It, it's the way we survived, our ancestors. Exactly. You, you gotta be able to eat fast, otherwise somebody else will take it from you. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Nikki Sudo, Joey Chestnut, best of luck tomorrow. Oh, thank okay. You. So we'll be there watching. Defending their titles at Nathan's. Yeah, we will be there. Coney Islands, mm -hmm. the place to be. Thank you guys for being here.